Hi guys, this is Hein here from Ichbus Aquaponics and I'm here just to give you an overview of our solution design offering. So solution design we developed to kind of give our clients access to proper and good system architecture to build an aquaponics system. A lot of our clients would like to go build it themselves and the complexities around the aquaponics system is, is, is significant and it's a bit complicated. So we've gone and created a product offering that provide, removes that headache from you and gives you the best opportunity to be successful. So what is our solution design? Solution design focuses on system architecture, your aquaponics system architecture. It's firstly a full architecture drawing that's 3D, you can physically see everything, all your piping, your tanks, all of the components and subcomponents. A full material plan that's linked to that that 3D architecture and a cost related to all those materials. Finally, some project support and construction support documents that tells you high level flight plan, detailed plans, equipment, resource plans related to running or executing on this project or building your construction. Finally, quite importantly is what's the finances related to me running the system? So we've built up a, a standard profit loss statement catered for the specific solution design you buy. Um, there is a produce profitability calculator where you can calculate your produce and your specific produce um, revenue, potential revenues. There's a generic business plan which is more ADEP orientated, which is for South Africa. Then obviously we have options of remote and on-site support and that's also built into our solution design offerings. Finally, that we want to offer there is, it's all good and well that everybody gets excited, you've got your architecture, you kind of know what to do, and then funding becomes an issue. So there is obviously certain funding streams available in South Africa, and we've partnered with some people to kind of tap that for our customers. So how do we um, just surface it, so make it available, what are the streams, how to approach it for the best success rate possible. So let's quickly have a look at it. Firstly, our tunnel architecture. Here's a customized 3D design for a client that we've built. Um, it's not your standard solution designs, but you can now see that in here you've got a full 3D model of my fish tank. If I look at it, I've got my pumps, piping, everything to a certain specification as what we would like to have designed it. Okay? Um, your pumps, air pumps here connected in series. You have your, your piping, your pipes, your, you've got your heat pump there. Um, your solid filters and all the piping is specific to that. Um, you can also see how we design all the piping below the ground such that the flow mechanic and all those rules are followed as well. Um, let's just get out of here so you can see. Oops. That's because it's undercover. If you delete it, you can now suddenly see there's your piping. Okay? So we give you a full 3D view exactly how to build your architecture system or build your aquaponic system. This will then provide you with a great success. Now the next thing is what's my materials exactly related to each of these components? What materials do I need to build that solid lift? What materials do I need to build this hydroponic vertical system? And that is where we can come to play on your material plan. Material plan for each big subcomponent, aquaculture, hydroponic, or your supporting like your supplementation, fish quarantine, cycling, mineralization, we kind of break it down to what is the materials needed. Let's quickly look at aquaculture. Tanks. I've got the following tanks I need. That's how many I need, that's the cost. Bottom drain. It's the following components or materials I need to build my bottom drain for my tanks. That's where I buy it, how much I need, cost. Tank inlets, solid lift, your airing, the swirl filters. So basically the material plan provides you a detailed view of what's needed to construct the system as per the 3D architecture. There's an aggregated view of the bill of materials, which then provides you a view of saying, for this, this component I need so much to build my whole aquaponic tunnel. Now we've got a design and the materials that we need to build it. The next one is to build it. So here's some supporting documentation we have created, like a high-level timeline. This is a high-level timeline for my project. Very importantly, because you need to understand which milestones to hit. Detailed project plans like this one, which is also provided, 
sometimes it's too detailed and you forget your high-level milestones. So high-level milestones on your high-level timelines, detailed project plans, we give you a resource plan per area. Equipment list needed to construct. And that's kind of the supporting documentation. Coupled with that, we give you a construction supporting document. What is this? It gives you guidelines of how to construct it when your material plan is not good enough. We do have a prerequisite that you have attended our advanced course because a lot of this has been trained there and we don't necessarily give you detailed step by step for all the stuff. The basics are assumed you know, where it gets a bit more complicated and we haven't covered in our training, I would cover it in this document. So in this document, you'll see high level views, um, you'll see there's an aquaculture to hydroponic ratio where we balance those two to make sure the one can drive the other properly. There is a system water flow, especially when you have multiple hydroponic systems. How does each tank flow to which wall filter? At how much flow rate? How does it flow to your gravel beds, your media beds, your um, DWC, your Dutch buckets, whatever you're using? What's the flow rate you need accurately? And how do you then, when you monitor this in the day-to-day -day operations, what's the flow rate you need to have measure for each of the systems to know it's working properly? That obviously goes to all the other details, like if you look building a solid lift. Here's a detailed description of solid lift, how to build it. Okay, so all in all, that's your supporting documentation. Then, next is, as we said, you have now know the system, you've got a material plan, you know how to build it. You need to understand if it's going to be profitable. So the commercials. We give you a profit loss statement, the generic one, but it is factual. In this aspect, you'll see you can calculate your produce revenue line, what is my different type of produce, average yields, pessimistic, optimistic, realistic, and based on that, I can choose which ratio I want, and if I then change my system to say I want 20% of my system planted with basil, 10% of butter lettuce, 20% of baby spinach, etc., what is my meter rand value that I'll get? That then pulls into your profit loss statement, which will give you your um, ratio of rand per month based on the following confidence level. Your sales, at the moment we've selected trout, I can go select Nolotikas, whatever I want to, and it will give me a different sales ratio. Packaging operations, so this is a standard profit loss for a 300 square meter town. And then there's your fixed and variable cost. These are actual values based on our current budget that we are using at Ictus Aquaponics in our standard day-to-day -day operations. So basically, that's kind of what we provide on the commercial side. Coupled with that, we have given you a generic business plan. The generic business plan is ADEC formatted, so it helps you for that submission if you're in South Africa. But you can now see it, it also will provide you an overview of building in another business plan. But and So you can use this as needed and just need to adjust it for whatever you want to use it. So let's go back to the summary. System, material plan, costing plan, project construction supporting financial plans. We also provide on-site and remote assistance. So that is part of our solution design. You can choose it as an optional extra. Secondly, as an op optional extra is where we help you get funding. Um, we have partners and that's very good at ADEP and high success rates, etc. We can help you access different funding streams. And we are we've got we've got someone that helped us. Please inquire if you're interested. So there's different kind of solution design offerings: a commercial, professional. Commercial, we are looking at a we call it the planting efficiency ratio of 80 to 85 percent. But what it physically means is, out of your 100 percent planted, out of a 300 square meter tunnel, I've got 230 to 250 square meters planted. That's where your 80 to 85 percent comes from. This system for commercial series is designed to have, oops, let's undo that. So 230 to 250 square meters hydroponic area, a 30,000 liters aquaculture system running at 8.8 kilowatt per hour. So obviously commercially driven, we are looking at cost, how to reduce it. There's different types, travel media, DWC core and DWC. So you can choose which one will be suit your best. Professional is more for the hobbyist and a beginner commercial. It's not as intensive, more ergonomic, more paths, more walkways, um, tunnels but easier to run. 
You can see efficiency ratio, planting efficiency ratio at 65%. Hydroponic area in that area is 195 meters per square for a three, in a 300 square meter tunnel with a 20,000 liter system running it. Average power consumption is a bit lower, 0.65 kilowatts. Kind of gives you an idea of what we designed. There's a, so that's us the solution design options. There's obviously the customized option where we can provide a customized bolt for what you want. Maybe just an overview quickly or an intro. We are building a service model. Now we've shown you how a solution design will make sure you've got the best possible system. Service model is what will help you to manage and run it day to day to the best best you can. Okay? So it's how to run a day to day run. So we've built a couple of products for that training. We've got the intro course, three day course, two week operations management course. Now if you become a service by the service model, you become one of our service partners, uh, we you fall into our service partner package. Now in that you'll get access to our full aquaponics operating model. That is procedures, process, checklists, controls, everything else to run a day-to-day -day operating system as we run it on our farm. Next one is you get access or online and remote and on-site support where we will come to your site, assess it, or we will can assist with any issues you had in, at any time. Knowledge sharing hubs, so we will be creating, pull all the service partners together to kind of share their successes, their wins, what worked, what didn't work. So that is just a learning aspect for it. Then also we're providing a centralized supply chain. So using economies of scale as a collective, we'll leverage what we can and get the best possible prices. So that is the service model coming soon. Um, but please, if there's any questions, please contact us uh, at info at Welcome to go to our webpage and let us know how things goes.